Hi, this is Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. Thank you for joining me. If you have a sans made, but you want to get that changed over into a slab, I've put together this video on how you do that for Font Lab. So um, what I'm doing is in this, in, in Font Lab, I like to use elements because that helps me to change things quickly. So for example, let me go to my news display of this slab and I've made the uppercase and the lowercase with elements. And so see what happens is when, let me clear out the, the mask back there. When I click on this and I change it uh, for the uh, for one serif, it changes it for everything. Or if I do a lot like that, you can see it on the screen here. That's changing everybody by that much. And then I can go go back over there, change it back. And I'm just going to reset the spacing. Okay. So that is what is great. So you want to, when you bring the sands over, so this might be the sands that you have. And I want to add the serifs onto this. And then I'm going to change the structure of certain letters like the S and the, uh, maybe the lowercase a, stuff like that. So this is how we would bring that over into this file with preserving the elements and preserving the elements that I have in here, because I'm also using elements in here for like the stems, if I want to change this to super small, it allows me to change everybody at once really quick there. Okay, go into font info, which is this button up here. And first thing we're going to do is we are going to get the axis. So go to axes, and then we are going to grab these by hitting the copy page. And then we're going to go into the next one and we're going to paste the page. So now I have my, the, the correct axes for this one. Okay, I'm going to push okay. I'm going to do a save as, and then I'm just going to name it with the next thing there. Okay, so now let's go back in the font info. We're going to go down here in the lower left. That's where we add new masters. Okay, so when you add new masters with this, it's going to preserve all those connections between the elements. So I want to, since I'm making another display version, I'm going to hit the news display. I duplicate it. I want to call this condensed. So just go into the front and then I'm going to hit OK there. I'm going to duplicate. Actually, I'm going to duplicate this one again. And then I'm going to make this our black. OK, and then I'm going to duplicate that and make that our black condensed because those are the, the different things that I have. OK, so I'm going to push OK. And then you can see if I go to a letter like the N here, you can see that all these have, are the same as the news display. And if I go into any one of those, the serifs will all retain their connection, that they're references to each other. So that way it keeps everything together like that. Okay, so now we're going to go open up your layers and masters panel. So panel, layers and masters, and then in that, you can hit the plus. So now we're going to add the different sans weights that we're missing over here. So I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to say all glyphs. I'm going to fill with a new layer. So let's decide which one we want to do um, the condensed news display because that's the first one we have there. And I'm going to just write a note to myself. I'm going to say combine with, um, can, I never tried putting it at slash, so we'll see what it is. Condensed news. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to add another one. This time it's going to be the black. All glyphs, this one, go to sans, black display, uh, combine with black display. Okay, then the, so you can see that now we have, okay, let me take the, the reason why I was doing that is because this view is on, sometimes it does that when you add something new. See, now we have the sans is inside our slab. So we're going to now click on the plus, I'm going to click on all glyphs again. And the last one is the condensed black. Combine with condensed black display. Okay. So there we have those. Okay. So now what we need to do is to see how this has, this is sort of showing with the other ones. That's because this view option is on. So we need to click that off because what we're going to do is which other, which ones we combine together. We combine this. With this one, we are going to merge those into one layer. So we have to put the visual both on. And then in the lower right, it's, there's a button called Merge Visible Layers. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to select all glyphs. And now 
all all the connections, all those links that we have are still preserved. And you can see up here how the serif, there's 69 of these pieces. Those are all preserved uh, in between those, okay? So now we're going to go to the black display. I want to turn that one on, combine with black display, merge those guys, all glyphs. Then this one, the condensed black display, I'm going to merge with, combine with con condensed black display. I'm going to click, click on all glyphs. Now, if you should ever have a, a thing where this is named wrong, all you have to do is just double click into here, change it to the correct name, the same exact name as the master, and then that will become your master layer. Okay, so you can see that now these are a little bit crazy. <laughs> so we're going to do the black uh, black display. We're just gonna we're gonna look at that one. We're just gonna look at a couple letters. So um, this one we still have to adjust the the different things. So I'm going to just mostly do the N the and the L. Um, yeah, two two is enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here, and anything. So this is from the news uh, layer. I don't want that guy because because I want to use this this n arch instead. So I'm going to delete him. The stem that's the stem we want. So we don't want to delete him. We want to delete this stem. So I delete him out. And and make sure you do this while you are in the element tool. That's really important. Then click on this small notch thing, and I click and I do that. And now you can see that he's green with the other two because he's matching those. Okay, so now what we're going to do is adjust. Well, let's do this to the L as well. We're going to take off. He just has a one extra stem. Okay, so now you see how these serifs are sort of inside. They're not matching up. This time we are going to go into the contour tool. So, okay, so let, actually first let's see in the element tool, the black one, if I click on this and this and see if I move the serifs to about the right spot, it only does that for the L. It doesn't do that for the N and all the other letters. So if I want to make that do move out for everything, then what I'm going to do is hit A or your contour tool, and I highlight this. It's going to highlight all these other things, and then I can do uh, move this out, and you see it's moving everybody out at the same time. Okay, so that moves it out for the N as well there. Now this side, I'm going to have to move a little bit extra because that's a little bit wider than the other letters, so I move that out. Um, then I am going to go to the N and something weird happened with, oh, oh, it changed the minus three. So let's just reset our side bearings. Actually, we can do that through the glyphs, uh, the glyph panel and, uh, it's, it's set at 18. So we just need to reset the spacing here and then we'll do that. Okay. Another thing that happened is the X height change. So that, that is. We don't want to do this globally um, here. Since I have those connected, if I move that up, then I'll move those down. So here you do want to use the element tool to move it up, and that's 15. So I have that moved up. Now this one has to go in a little bit. This one has to go out a little bit. And now I am ready. The serifs are sort of in the right position. And now this is where the fun stuff happens. That I can just move this up by maybe three, and then uh, move this up by three as well and then move him smaller that's the inner serif i have a different element so that way i can adjust him independent of the outer serifs and there we go we have um, made these two letters from the the other from the sands we've brought that over and now the, the stems are all correct everything is linked so that's going to help us to, to just make our slab faster. Okay, I think that is about it. We've deleted the unnecessary shapes. And sometimes, you. oh, one thing is you might have to change the element order here, so make sure to do that. So if you want to get more FontLab 7 videos, check out fontlab.tv. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that we're uploading there. And if you wanna see what you can do with FontLab, check out my website, calfonts.com. Thanks so much for watching.